what is going on youtube and welcome back to another video on my channel today we are going to be watching lucifer season five this is episode six and i would like to thank every single person that is engaging with the channel recently we've got many comments people commenting in the video you know in relation to episodes in relation to characters storylines plots you know giving different ideas on what they think each storyline is going to take and i do appreciate every single person that is commenting on my channel really do appreciate it so thank you very much if you've not yet subscribed please do so so you can catch the next lucifer videos and please hit the like button because it really does help me out Thanks again for everybody clicking on my channel, and let's get into the video. Cheers, guys. Oh, look at them. They're back together holding hands, public affection. Wait. Did you guys come together? Um, so yeah, we did. Oh, my God. I, I didn't know you two were a thing. I mean, I mean, I'd hoped, but you two found your girlfriend. <laughs> okay, Ella. So what do we have? Mm. Blue balls. Oh. <laughs> Blue balls mm, with yeah. a Z. Oh, wait, Jesus. I got you. No. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Old butterfingers over yeah. here. Uh, don't worry, I drop stuff all the time. Mate, this guy is definitely chatting. He's definitely, definitely lying. And I reckon that, like all films, he's going to try and worm his way in with Ella some, somehow and try and get information of her, whether it's, like, friendship or relationship. He's going to try and squirm his way in. I bet you. Hey, you Come on, it's been, like, a minute. Oh, he's getting uh, jealous. Oh, right <laughs> Look at him. On Cherry Jane? Wasn't that casual? Oh, look at him. Not gonna rapper, uh, Lucifer is not going to rapper. Lucifer is my partner. Yes, partner. <laughs> so you're still married to that guy, Dave? Dan. <laughs> so are you <laughs> Oh, here we go. She's got to say, um, yeah. No. Oh, that's a wrong answer. That is a wrong answer. You're not in a, a relationship uh, per se. Ah! Mate, Chloe, you don't even need to ask him what's wrong. You 100% you know the reason why he's mad right now. Us, you know, we... You don't even know what this is yet. What I don't understand is if you love somebody, like you physically declare your love for them, how can you not be in a relationship? I mean, the timing of that guy's head popping in. But yeah, like when they say we don't know what this is, surely if you love someone and you both say it, that you are willing and wanting to do a relationship. Well, if you were the intended target, you know, you're not safe here. So it's best if you come with us. Jase. Detective had a child with you, and I've never felt in the slightest bit threatened. <laughs> but you're right. You know, Dad, stupid face. <laughs> hey, Alan. <laughs> Hi, Alan. How are you so happy? Friendly. I don't know. I guess I'm just me. You know, Ella. Just last weekend, I caught a homeless woman breaking into his place. Chased her out of that gate. Maybe she broke in to tamper with the headphones. She could be the one who wanted to murder Jed. Assuming anyone wanted to murder Jed. Oh, fucking hell, did not expect that then. You okay? See the difference between Lucifer's touch and this Jed's touch? Like, when that Jed touches her, it's like awkward. I mean, it is awkward for me anyway. But when, uh, when Lucifer touches her, it's more like an affectionate and she responds differently. I look at her eyes looking at him then, she loves it. Could have been blown to bits. Yet he wasn't. Why do you think he's behind all this? Well, clearly he's Insurance. orchestrating all this to get close to you again. No one would go that far just to be near me. Well, I did go to hell and back for you twice, but who's counting? Exactly, Lucifer. Get in there, my son. Lucifer. All evidence that could have been in that studio is now completely destroyed. Wait, maybe not all of it. Hmm? The Blanco, gate. He said that the woman who broke in, she escaped through that gate. Listening, always listening. Fingerprints on it. Print. It would be nice if I could get Charlie to stop crying just once. <laughs> well, I have faith in you, pal. Thanks for being such a great friend, Dan. There are things you don't know about me. Things I've done. It's true. In the past, uh, Dan was... I mean, I didn't like Dan in the first couple of seasons. Uh, 
when he got involved with that other police officer. I mean, I thought Dan was a proper dick, but then as his character's progressed and the storyline's gone on, I thought he's a great guy. He is like, uh, I mean, I'll just say he's a great guy. And I, I was sad when um, when his girlfriend got killed. And now I, I just want him to have a good storyline. And he just seems like a nice guy. And he is always looking quite depressed. So I hope that he, he picks himself up and dusts himself off soon. That's because the detective is spoken for. Wait, are you talking about Chloe? Mm -hmm. She said she wasn't in a relationship. Well, she is. I'm not interested in her. The detective and I are seeing each other, which is why your little ruse is not going to work. Right then, Jed. <laughs> I am going to need to know exactly what you did wrong so I can steer clear of your every mistake. Now, start talking. You guys were gonna finally, you know, hang out tonight. Mm. <laughs> ah, Lovella. Unresolved sexual tension, the will they, won't they kept her hooked. Ah, um, mate, that kept us hooked for seasons, mate. Just what I didn't realize was once she solved me, figured me out, she was done. Hey, that is actually deep because that is a good analogy. I, I reckon that can work in quite a lot of relationships and. Um, that is true. She could be hooked on him because she's a mystery around him for where he's from, you know, what he does, his powers, and she's, she's trying to suss him out. But then once that's actually sussed, what has he got? You know, he, he, what does he offer her? Or is she want to move on now? Or is she, you know, is she content? So that is a good analogy. I like it. Ask away. <laughs> I am completely open and emotionally available now. Just like my good friend, Ella. Ella. Oh, okay. So you're acting like Ella. And you know what? Never mind. Real Ella. What do you mean? Uh, well, what'd you do? I just said what you said. That it's okay that she gets it wrong all the time, and that it's perfectly natural that she's so clueless because no one ever... Oh. Oh, okay. Right. I I see what happened there. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you be involved with the sting over at Lux? I don't know anything about a sting. I'm here because I'm being mysterious. Well, the last place the detective would expect to find me is with a baby, so here I am. If all you think you deserve is some loser like that, maybe I should learn from someone else. Oh, that is quite deep, actually. Like, why does Ella... That is deep. I bet it's made Ella sad that, because she is a, a nice person and she's good. Why does she actually only go for the bad boys? Like, why don't she go for someone that appreciates, like the guy who was trying to take her out on a date before? She should... She needs someone like that, not someone like that. Oh, that was quite deep. And that's hurt of that, what Maze has just said. Call Lucifer and see if he still has eyes on Jed. So. <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, did you just throw your phone somewhere? <laughs> yeah, Lucifer, he's uh and I, I don't know. I don't know where Lucifer is right now. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Jed can see who he's really playing with. Oh shit. That's all. <laughs> Do it again, Lucy. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> Don't even tell me, right, that this guy is going to shoot him because his girlfriend is in love with a famous DJ and he's jealous. Oh, my God. I don't even know who you are. But you know who she is. But they need to know. He's a homewrecker. It was just one night. One magical night. I didn't even oh, know she was married. She didn't on him? say anything. You don't need to do this, Ron. Mate, right? If you just admitted to killing someone else under an explosion, right? Why are you taking your time? It's just like all classic films. You're not gonna get your end result because you've took too long. Just shoot him right now. <laughs> Hello, man. She's sick at taking people down. So... Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's had a good time. Lucifer and I are something, <laughs> but it's uh, it's new and it, it's complicated. Do you want to go out with me? Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I mean, great. yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yes. That would be great. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> 
cool. You would definitely be intimidated. Mm. Oh, Daniel, is it too late for you to come back? I'm so sorry, you forgot something. <sighs> All right, man, I'll be right oh, back. Oh, fucking hell. Who set him up? I'm well interested, because that's not Lucifer. And he's going to see him. Oh, how are they going to show Dan like this? Fantastic. Fucking hell. Idiot. Who set him up? Why have they picked Dan to show out of everyone? Well done, brother. Oh, how did I not guess it was Michael? <laughs> oh, he just totally gone out of my head. Like, I forgot that he was even a character. Wow. Wow. I'm well... I can't believe it. How did I think of that? Wow. That is a fucking mic drop. Chloe is that is so beautiful. Have a drink. Mate, about fucking time. Um, Mate, just pick her up, Lucy, and take her um, in the bedroom, man. <sighs> Mate, that was five seasons in the making. Yes, I like it. That is what I wanted to see. So there we have it. Finally. God, that was a long overdue. But man, what a way to end the episode there with uh, with Michael setting up Lucifer and uh, with Dan as well. I mean, I did say moments before, I hope they give Dan a good storyline in the second half of the season. And God, like, have we got it? But... I'm interested to see, like, because everyone that's seen Lucifer prior to Chloe and um, and Linda have treated him like, like, like they've seen the devil. You know, every time they see him, they're scared. They treat him different. And now, I'm interested to see how Dan acts, you know, around people. Is he gonna, is he just gonna come out and and say it, or is he gonna try and warn Chloe, not knowing that she's aware of this situation? So I mean. It is a great storyline. I totally forgot about Michael. And yeah, it's just through a total spanner in the works. Um, Ella's going to get, looks like a boyfriend. That, surely that's going to be a storyline um, in itself. Um, still not sure where we're going with Maisie's storyline. Um, she's still looking for love. And I'm praying Eve come back. Like uh, Honestly, she was she was great. And that's when she was the, the most happiest. And... Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just shocked with the the whole Daniel Michael Lucifer situation. I can't wait to watch the next episode. It's gonna be sick. Uh, I'm probably just gonna fire through and watch the remaining two episodes of the season tonight. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't think that I'm gonna stop and edit this one. I'm just gonna watch, 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 and then edit them as we go because I'm just excited. So if you guys are loving the season, uh, if you're loving the series, and you can't wait for the it to to restart after um. Uh, for part two of season five then please do hit the like button and subscribe please let me know what you think and if you were shot just like me because wow i was lost for words then um and did you expect it was you like me thinking who set him up because clearly it was obvious it was lucifer's voice but i, I just totally forgot michael was even a character so please let me know what you think are you happy with how the storylines are progressing and with uh, each character's um own uh, thing that they've got going on please do let me know what as always, thank you very much for clicking on my channel. Really do appreciate it. Please hit like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks very much.